Hey guys, today I'm going to be comparing the Ace Beam T35, the newest tactical flashlight, to a couple of my regular tactical flashlights, the Phoenix PD35 and the PD35R. These are some of my favorite tactical lights out there. Can't recommend them enough. But since getting the T35, I've been finding this one's been been swapping this one in just as much as well. So let's go through some of the basics. Now, both of these basically produce 1,007 100 lumens the ace beam t35 if you get this in the 6500k produces 1900 lumens so it actually has a little bit higher output than the other two but yeah looking at the general design you can see probably the easiest comparison to draw is between these two okay the pd35 3.0 and the t35 because you've got the side switch you don't have the side switch on the pd35r Okay, just got the tail switch, but you do have a secondary switch there on the back of the PD35R, whereas on these two, you've just got a single switch. Okay, I actually prefer factual lights with a single switch there. It just leaves less room for error if I'm turning it on and I accidentally switch to another mode or something like that. Don't want that to happen. And yeah, I've got a nice side switch, aluminium metal side switch. And they both pretty much operate in the same way. You turn them on, whoops, and then you just press these uh, the side switch here to ramp up to whatever brightness mode that you want. And then you turn it off and it memorizes that mode. So I actually just leave it on 100%, all good. Okay, one step turbo. Now, one of the big differences, as you can see, is the anodizing the finish. The T35 has a much more... You know, matte black finish, which I prefer because it's not only is it more low key, but it's so much more grippier than the Phoenix finish. And this is something that has always bugged me a little bit. You know, I just wish that they would use this up, you know, not upgrade, but start using that matte black finish because I just find it to be just a lot more practical. And uh, scratches as well don't show up as as badly. Another difference is the bezels. So on the T35, you've got a stainless steel crenulated bezel, whereas with the Phoenix lights, these two, it's pretty much just built in, just cut out from the aluminium, and it's not as pronounced as well. You've got more kind of sharper edges on the T35. Okay, These ones I hear people can get past security points and, and on airplanes very easily. When you've got you know more sharper edges like this, you know, that's when you start getting questions. But in a self-defense situation or if you need to break a window or, or something like that, you know, I'm definitely going to rely on this one a lot more and it's going to be more durable because it's made out of stainless steel. Okay. In terms of the overall beam performance throw, all produce very similar amounts of throw. So over 300 meters of throw. Okay. Close to or 350 plus meters of throw. Okay. But they do have a slightly different step down and runtime patterns. And what we're going to do, I'm going to go through a beam shot test and show you just how these all perform side by side. All right, today I'm going to be comparing the Ace Beam T35 with the Phoenix PD35 and PD35R. So let's put them all into turbo. This is the Ace Beam first, T35. And I've got the Phoenix. PD35 and on the far right we've got the Phoenix PD35R. So look, side by side, they're all very, very similar. Okay, but I do see that the Phoenix, okay, the PD35 and the PD35R have a slight edge. Okay, they just look a little bit brighter and yeah, it does make sense because they have a slightly higher candela rating than the ace beam but i'm gonna run this test and see what happens during the step down so remember on the left here ace beam t35 middle phoenix pd35 and far right ace beam pd35 Ah, so, yep, 
not bad. And you know, one thing that I I was very impressed with, especially uh, yeah, with the step downs, is the PD35 and the Ace Beam T35 have decent run times on turbo before they actually step down. So roughly about two plus minutes each. Which I don't think we've reached that point just yet, but they should begin to slowly start to step down. And yeah, you can see, I mean, the PD35R and the PD35, that the PD35 is actually, is actually a little bit brighter in the center Okay, then the PD35R. PD35R does step down a little bit faster. Okay. Just using this tree in the center as a bit of a indication. And uh, I definitely am noticing the Ace Beam T35 getting pretty hot. Okay. And the PD35 in the center also pretty hot okay I do find that the PD35R does manage temperature a little better okay but I mean it's been yeah, just about three minutes now and you can definitely see yeah you can definitely see that PD PD35 in the center, brighter than the other two. Okay, looking at, even at the, just near the oval on the actual, the grass, you can also see the concentration of the hot spots. Center hot spot, PD35 is the brightest. Then you've got the PD35R on the right, second brightest, and the Ace Beam T35, third brightest. So, look, it's your answer in the day and the PD35R has yeah like I said it's just got this better heat regulation somehow I mean, it steps down a bit faster but yeah, you have to remember also the Ace Beam T35 does output an additional 200 lumens these two on the right 1700 lumens and on the left T35 1900 lumens but uh, yeah, after they've all stepped down, I would say, yeah, the PD35, PD35R, brighter, and the Ace Beam, third brightest. But again, I do have the 5000K version of the Ace Beam. So this is gonna produce less lumens than the PD35 and the PD35R. So something to keep in mind, you know, if you do want that additional output and additional throw. I suggest getting the 6,500K version. I'd say probably that, the 6,500K version would probably keep up with the Phoenix lights a bit more. But uh, yeah, they've, they're all very comfortable to hold at this point. They were getting a bit hot before, but after step down, quite usable. And still, as you can see, lots of range. We'll manage to get to the end of this oval very easily.